What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Boo Crew. As you can see, I have this really nice backpack on me right now. This is a brand new hunting pack that I just got and I'm super excited to go over it and review it with you guys. This thing is super comfortable and it's a huge upgrade from my last pack. My last pack was a field line, I believe, and extremely uncomfortable. I was so excited to get a new one. This pack right here is an Alps Outdoors Pursuit Pack. This is a really nice pack. I want to start on the on the back side or front, whatever you want to call this, um, and the, just the really nice padding that it has. It's got some incredible padding all over it, and it's extremely comfortable. You don't get neck aches or back aches, it doesn't hurt your shoulders, and it's, it's extremely comfortable. It also has these really padded and comfortable support straps and everything, both for the waist and of course the top ones that connect up here on your chest. Just a really nice pack overall, very comfortable. Right now it's fully loaded, it has all my gear in it. It doesn't look that big at first, but it's actually a really nice pack and it's very roomy. So let's actually break it open and see what's inside. Before we get into all the pockets, I wanna discuss this right here. These two straps are really nice because one, you can strap a lot of things to it and it's very nice. Two, it's actually used to strap your gun or your bow to your pack. If we go down here and just reach in under here, we can pull out this little saddle right here. And that's to hold either the cam of your bow or the stock of your rifle or shotgun. So on to the first pocket up front. I have it pretty packed full of goodies because I like my pack packed full of goodies. So we open it up and right away we have these adjustable straps right here. This is a really cool feature that I like. Because you can pull this down. This actually acts as like a table in the tree stand. As you see, I got it loaded with stuff. I have my True Talker, except I have my rattle bag that I just got as well. Excited to use that. I've never rattled before, nor have I ever used a rattle bag, so I'm excited to try that out and see how it works. I have my Primos, my Primos Blood Light. I have my, my brand new K-Bar custom knife. Super, super ni nice knife. And I uh, can't wait to do a review on this and test this thing out. Beautiful knife. And of course, my Easy Hanger right here. So these are two big pockets. There's the biggest pocket up top, my calls. The second big pocket that I have some other bigger stuff into. And then we get into the nitty gritty. Right in here is a little mesh pocket. I have my license in there and some hand warmers. I have three cover scents and my pen and a pen in there for that stuff. You always need a pen, sign your tags and everything. Then way down the bottom here, we have some little pockets. I have a, um, a strap in there for the tree. When I'm, uh, if I don't have a lifeline in my tree stand, I'll use one of those. I have an extra peg right here. You never know when you need a peg. And um, then I got my Evercom. Did a review on this. Super cool, love that stuff. And of course, Trails End buckler and everything. So this pack is uh, very nice, very handy. And it's much more organized than my last pack. And this is gonna just be so much nicer and I'm actually trying to find all the stuff that I need. So then we have the big pocket in the back. This is uh, one that I thought was pretty necessary because I carry a lot of camera gear around. So of course I gotta carry my big camera arm and, a, and the ratchet strap and all this big stuff that just fits in there real nice, perfectly, I have it nice and set up. Then I have my bottle of scent killer. That's important, I always need your scent killer. I didn't use any of this year because I was completely out. And then on this, I have this big uh, uh, stretchy pocket up top. Normally this is where your bladder goes. Um, see right here it says H2O, you can't really tell, but that's where your um, your straw will come out and that's where you can set your bladder in. I don't have a bladder and I don't have a use for a bladder. Um, so I use it as another pocket. I have tree saw, grime wipes, gloves, and a Bella Clava and stuff. And uh, it's really nice, really nice big pocket. It is pretty useful. Turn around, we have the two pockets down here on the waist straps. These are nice because I've always wanted to, I've always, I'm always carrying stuff in my pockets and it's really a pain. It's a lot nicer if I have them right in here. I have my bow line. I always need that right there when I get to the stand and pull my bow up. As well as my range finder in this pocket. You never know when you're stalking somewhere and I might need to quick grab out your range finder. It's pretty handy. So we swing to the side here. And like I said, on the front, you have your thing, you have straps for your bow or your gun. On the side here, we have buckles right here strap whatever you need, as well as a Velcro strap here. These are actually designed to hold your quiver, uh, but there's so much more that you can stick in there because you also have um, you know, a little cup holder pocket thing here where you can set something in there and you can do all sorts of cool stuff. And um, yeah, it's just a really nice overall pack. I'm gonna flip it over right here. And one thing that is really, really nifty, we're gonna unzip this pocket down here. I'm just gonna pull out this cool and really smart little design. I don't know how many other packs use this, but you pull that out and you got a nice little rain cover. 
I didn't do a great job, but you got a rain cover for all the, from all the elements. I've hunted in the rain quite a few times. My pack just gets soaked and I have to rearrange everything to prevent everything from getting wet, at least the important. So hopefully guys, you found this video helpful and entertaining. And if you really want to check it out, there'll be a link in the top of the description. It's the Alps Outdoors Pursuit Pack. This pack is, is nice for the white deer wood. If you're looking for a pack that's more of the deer hunter's pack or maybe even more of the varmint hunter's pack, this is a great choice for you. This is not necessarily a western pack. It doesn't have the huge um, space for me. It does have a bladder if you're doing stuff like that and it does have straps to hold your gun and your bow. And those are two pretty big things if you're out hunting west. Um, so don't overlook this as not a western pack. But for me, this is a great whitetail deer hunting pack um, for the deer woods around where I live. Um, so if you guys really want to check it out again, link at the top of the description. Hopefully you enjoy it. And with that guys, it's gonna be the end of the video. If you haven't already, please go down and subscribe. And if you want to see more product videos like this, give it a big thumbs up, like the video, and I'll try to do more. Thanks for watching guys, and see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,